welcome students again we are continuing with the clutches and there is what is called friction clutch so friction clutch has its principal application in the transmission of <coughs> power of shafts and machines which must be started and stopped frequently its application is also found in cases in which power is to be delivered to machine partially or fully loaded the force of friction is used to start the drive the driven shaft from rest and gradually brings it up to the proper speed without excessive slipping of the friction surfaces in automobiles friction clutch is used to connect the engine to the drive shaft in operating such a clutch care should be taken so that the friction surfaces engaged easily and gradually bring the driven shaft up to proper speed the proper alignment of the bearing must be maintained and it should be located as close to the clutch as possible it may be noted that the contact surfaces should develop a frictional force that may pick up and hold the load with reasonably low pressure between the contact surfaces. The heat of friction should be rapidly dissipated, dissipated and tendency to grab should be at a minimum. The surfaces should be backed by a material stiff enough to ensure a reasonably enough a uniform distribution of pressure so materials which materials are used for friction surfaces the materials used for lining of friction surfaces of a clutch should have the following characteristics so the first primary characteristic is that it should be having high and uniform coefficient of friction it should not be affected by moisture and oil it should have the ability to withstand high temperatures caused by slippage it should have high heat conductivity it should have high resistance to wear and scoring so this marks the end of our today's class let's meet again in the next lecture